This is my five-year journey back to where I, where I was five years ago. So here I am. I think I'm those those wagon wheels, those big weights are they're just a forty-five pounds, just like um, another forty-five pound wheel. So that looks like uh, I think that's like four seventy-five or something like that. Those are probably thirty-fives on the on the outside there but I was looking at what I just recently did and it made me think back because five years ago I benched 500 pounds and I missed it a bunch of times in the lead up to getting it and um, I was just thinking that's you know the same thing that happened to me five years ago when I was on the same path on the same journey five years ago um at my strongest ever i'd say i was doing strongman i wasn't competing in powerlifting i was doing strongman that's where i learned about uh you know protective equipment like wrist wraps elbow sleeves knee sleeves you know all the stuff that strongmen use and, uh, you know, I wanted to be really serious about strongman. And so I got all that stuff and wow, what a life changer, what a game changer. Like I was like, this stuff is the best because it really just takes all the pain away from your lifting. Um, and you just feel it, you know, in your muscles, the way you want to, it doesn't hurt your, your joints and everything. So, uh, you could see me pretty, pretty geared up here. You know, it looks like I have like double, um, elbow sleeves on like over my forearms and everything. Um, and that was because I had these really, really good ones that I wanted on, but they were too small. So I would put these like cheap ones, those camo ones or whatever, the ones with the stars on them. Those are really, really cheap. And they didn't really, they didn't really do anything. It was kind of maybe more for looks almost. But those, uh, the blue ones I have on there, those are really, really good ones. I don't think I was getting much out of them though because they're just like on my forearms. But I, I just wanted to use them because I had them. I'm kind of like that. I want to use stuff that I buy. Um, and I think I got too big. I, I think I was like. I wish I knew exactly how big I was here, but I think I was like 275, 270, probably about 270. Um, at one point, I did get up to like 285 at my biggest, um, but this wasn't that, I don't believe. Uh, I think I was 270. 270, I was able to kind of hold okay, um, but honestly, you know, I wasn't healthy here. I was not healthy. Uh, I, I drank a lot at this time, actually, in my life. I was drinking, like, every day. Um, it was just my normal routine. I didn't even realize that I drank too much or anything like that. But I definitely did. There, I missed 500 pounds right there. Um, and kind of switched gears because my health wasn't really good I was pushing myself to get bigger and stronger bigger and stronger and I was eating really bad really unhealthy I was eating fast food pizza burgers everything to get as big as I could so I could lift as much weight as I could and drink on top of that um and then you know here's the peak where I benched 500 pounds this is my 500 pound bench right here and uh but I wasn't healthy I was really unhealthy my blood pressure was through the roof um you know and uh it it just wasn't good so I had to make a change and you know I didn't look good like I had got into this you know wanting to be a bodybuilder that was kind of my original interest in lifting weights and stuff turns out I was really good at it and strong strength's kind of like my gift um but I didn't look like a bodybuilder. I didn't look the way that I wanted to look. Like the result from being super strong 
wasn't what I had set out for, you know? Um, I kind of thought that would come with it. Like, if I could bench 500, deadlift 700, that's what Arnold Schwarzenegger did. I was like, I'll look like Arnold. Well, benched the 500, deadlifted the 700, didn't look anything like Arnold or or Ronnie Coleman, for that matter. Um, who were... Those were the guys that I wanted to uh, be like. You know, I was a big fan of Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> Dorian Yates, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dave Draper, like these guys. Um, and I was able to get as strong as most of them. Not as strong as Ronnie Coleman, um, but all the rest of them. And, uh, you know, didn't didn't produce the results, though. And a big part of that's genetics. Um, but frame-wise, you know, I'm more suited for, like, bodybuilding than strongman really because strongman guys are just massive and i'm like 5'10 same height as ronnie coleman or dorian yates um so you know kind of felt more more suited to that but i'm not as naturally lean those guys are so lean genetically it's just a different ball more absorbent than the leading ordinary brand here's where i got up to my this looks like a 650 deadlift i think right here but uh genetically those guys are super mean you know uh, after this i cut down that's what i did i went straight into bodybuilding and i i went from 278 i think when i started my cut <clears throat> and I went all the way down to 207 206 i was close to doing Honestly, I could have went to 200 pounds. I still could have got leaner. Obviously lost a ton of muscle in the process. So here's now. So here's after five years coming back. Same experiences. Here I'm missing 475, which is what I think I missed at the beginning of the video. Here I'm getting 475. And so there's there's... There's hit or miss, you know, on the way up. That's just part of it, you know. You're pushing yourself as hard as you can, and you're going to miss weights, and then you're going to get them, you know. The biggest thing I'd say I've learned is just perseverance uh, and patience. Patience. That's the biggest thing with powerlifting, I think. It's like a marathon, actually. It's weird. It's not a power or it's not an endurance sport at all, but I think patience is the biggest thing that you need. Um... Here I am in actual competition, which is what this all led to. But, uh, you know, I, I didn't compete in powerlifting before when I had benched 500 pounds. And I didn't do that to a competition standard anyway. But um, at my strongest, I didn't compete in powerlifting. I competed in strongman. And then um, I switched to bodybuilding, like I said. And I pretty much lost all my strength. But my health came back perfectly. I got my health perfect and I looked good and I felt great, you know. And, uh, you know, was really lean. And so I got super healthy. That's the biggest thing. Healthy. So I did bodybuilding to get healthy. And uh, again, like I said, I looked good. I felt good. That was the best I ever looked or felt in my life, really. And uh, I did cardio. I dieted, uh, did everything you need to do. I competed in bodybuilding for a year. Um, obviously wasn't as strong. But after I stopped bodybuilding, I actually was very strong very quick and stayed lean. And I think I could have got as strong as I am now without adding fat. <clears throat> so I went from uh, my, my last bodybuilding competition. I was like 233 pounds, I think. Um, I also fought in MMA too at that time, and I weighed about two. I think the scale I they said two thirty five, but I was actually two twenty eight. Uh, but I think I had cl my clothes on or something. Um, but that's the range where I feel the best, like two twenty eight to two thirty three. Uh, I feel like I'm healthy, I'm lean, I'm strong. <clears throat> I bulked up a bit more because I wanted to bench five. Come on, Scotty! I got up to Let's 250. Go! 
and I don't think I needed oh, to do on, that. Let's go, let's so on, um, on, I did really good though in this Kabuki showdown competition in Portland. It qualified me for Worlds. Here I am hitting 485. It, it qualified me for Worlds, which I'm going to do. Um, but this next season, my goal is to get healthy again. Um, I'm not in the 270 range. I'm not drinking a lot. You know, I'm, I don't drink at all, actually, at all. I haven't in three years. Um, so, but, but this new goal is to get healthy, to get leaner. I'm gonna shed this fat off that I put on that I didn't mean to. I'm gonna get down to the 242 class and I wanna bench 500 in competition at Worlds and maybe even more. And then I also want to break a world record in the deadlift in my class, uh, which will be 750 pounds. So if I can do that, you know, that would be great, but the key is, this is a lesson for everybody, uh, which is hard for me, it's to stay healthy. It's to stay healthy. I pushed it, and I'd want to get bigger, and I'd eat unhealthy, and I wouldn't do cardio, and every time, I'd get unhealthy, and didn't feel good, didn't look good, and so this next, this next season, I'm glad that my strength's back, and... Uh, but I'm going to just chip away at that fat and right, get leaner and get healthy. I'm going to do cardio. Um, and that way, I could continue to do this. That way, I could continue to stay strong and continue this journey. And, uh, you know, here you are seeing it. Here's my 500-pound bench. I feel a lot better now than I did five years ago. Five years ago, you know... I was just really unhealthy. Um, oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Kind of a bit unhealthy again, though. So it's really important yeah. for me to yeah. incorporate the cardio back in and, uh, and just get super healthy. You know, and I, I just think that's the key. That's kind of the message of this video that I want to get across is, you know, you got to do your cardio. You got to eat right. You got to be healthy. Uh, you got to stay in your lane, you know. Don't try to get outside your weight class. You know, I was trying to do strong man. I wanted to be 300 pounds and I'm just not that big of a framed of a guy. Um, my buddy Cody right there spotting me here. He's a 400 pound guy. He's six foot six. His frame is huge. You know, he didn't even have to try to get big to get to 400 pounds. It just happened. Um, and here I am, you know, way smaller, working out with all these guys that are just way bigger than me. And, uh, I'm pushing my body weight up in their their weight classes, but my weight class is 242, 220, you know. And if I wanted to get super, super lean, I could probably go 198, honestly. Uh, here I am doing a 661 deadlift. The difference here than five years ago is I did it without straps. So I'm doing it with just my bare hands. Um, and that was the thing why I never really wanted to do powerlifting was because I broke my hand. And uh, I just never thought I had a strong grip. I never, I never tried to train my grip. Um, I just was like, yeah. I'll be like Ronnie Coleman and deadlift with straps. And uh, yeah. you know, this gym though, everybody does powerlifting, competes, and everything. Kind of encouraged me to do that, and so I went for it. Turns out my grip strength is fine. So here I am doing that 661 in the gym. Yeah, easy. Um, and that led to doing 700 in the gym. There might be a miss in here. I might have missed some weights in the gym because that happened too. You know, I missed, I missed deadlifts and stuff. Um, it's part of it. Like I said, it's part of it. You're going to miss these weights when you're pushing to your limits. So, uh, but I got, you know, 661 in the gym. I got 685 in the gym. And I got 700 in the gym. And then I ended up getting that in competition. So, you know, the five years ago, I got 650, 675, 700. So, in the same spot, 500 bench, 700 deadlift. Five years later, 500 bench, 700 deadlift. But I'm leaner, I'm 20 pounds less or more, and I'm healthier. 
But I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down to the 232 class. Maybe even the 220 class because that will keep me going much longer. My longevity at 220 would be way, way better. So here, I think this is, this is 700 pounds right here. I got it. Um, he wanted me to do two, but I actually tore my hand because I had my wedding ring on. So I couldn't. But maybe I could have hit it twice. I don't know. Uh, it felt pretty it felt pretty easy. Everybody thought I could hit it twice. But, um, you know, my goals, my lifetime goals were a 500-pound bench, 700-pound deadlift in powerlifting. I also wanted to do a 600-pound squat, which I did. Um, I did that five years ago. But I can't do that anymore because I hurt my hips. And in strongman, I got injured. But uh, I just started squatting again. I was able to squat the other day. And I got 315 for three. I just have to do it kind of like high bar. Um, and my form has to be perfect. That's the difference. So probably love to get that back again. Love to do that in a competition someday. 600 squat, 500 bench. 700 deadlift, make it all official. That'd be really cool. Um, but in this season, one of the things for me, um, my mind shift, mindset shift, is everybody in the gym saying, "Look, look past those numbers. Look past those numbers." And they're saying, you know, go for beyond 500 pounds. Be as strong as Ronnie Coleman. Bench 500 for five. Deadlift 800 for reps. Um, so, if I can stay healthy, though, you know, Ronnie Coleman, he was healthy. If I can stay healthy, I'll do it. Um, and this, that was a 700-pound deadlift right there in competition. Oh, accidentally put this one in twice. It was pretty cool, though, to see everybody in the gym here. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go beyond. But number one thing is to stay healthy do cardio eat clean live the life of a bodybuilder really you know um my gift is in strength though that's where that's where i'm the most blessed so i'm gonna stick to that for competition and it's just not it's not as demanding on your life as bodybuilding bodybuilding is way more demanding it's ridiculous actually bodybuilding is uh 24 hour thing gotta eat six times a day gotta do cardio every day but it's healthy man i got super healthy doing bodybuilding so i want to live that similar bodybuilding life but just compete in powerlifting so it doesn't matter as much to stay so strict um and who knows maybe i'll do it again i don't know but this right here, these are the strongest guys in Oregon. And this right here it just symbolizes the future because I went for a 727 deadlift. I can't even fuck it off anymore, but this represents the future right here. You just go beyond my lifetime goals, going to that next level, going beyond what I ever imagined doing. 700 is the most I ever imagined doing. Here I am for a 727. Thank <laughs> you.